Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Super Mario Bros. 2 playthrough. I guess I said welcome back, or welcome, twice, because, well, this is Mario Bros. 2, yay! Anyway, uh, this is World 5, and, well, there's an Ostro sort of jumping around here, and wow, I totally nailed that guy. That was like a pro throw shot there. It was like, boom, headshot. But, uh, oh my god, a bomb bomb! Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of that in this level, and I really hate picking up those guys, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, I wanted to start picking up coins because, well, I wanted to try and start getting some lives via that slot thing at the end. Whoa. Peach is definitely a good choice for this level because, well, as you can see, there's a lot of hopping involved. And, uh, well, you have to, uh, hop yourself. Ah! Well, that worked out well. Thank you, Magic of Video Editing. You magically brought us right back to this spot. We Okay, then. Um, well, while that's going on, uh... I really don't have to narrate what do you have to do here. Oh boy, one up. Anyway, a little bit more information from the last part on BS Super Mario USA because I thought this was interesting. Um, the feature with the live voice where a narrator occasionally gives you some comments and hints, as well as the game music's, game's music can only be heard during the Satellaview's broadcasting hours. Don't even ask me when that was because I don't know. While the game itself is largely the same, there were some new and arranged content. For instance, there is now a score. Also, at first, only Mar Mario is playable. And depending on the time, some specific event will trigger, including the possibility to play with the other characters. Another feature is the inclusion of gold standards. Gold statues! Ten in total for each chapter. Um, yes, as you can see, this is a gray birdo who only shoots out fire. Yeah, jerk. Definite jerk move by uh, Nintendo there on that one. I'm telling you right now. Uh, yeah, I totally had to cut out the part with the slot machines because I picked up like nine coins. And, uh, well, if you notice, I didn't get one single one up from that. What's up with that, man? Seriously. I mean, I got nine tries. I didn't get one one up. You should, oh my god. You should have seen me when I was actually doing it. I was like, oh my god, give me a one up! Mm. Anyway, on to level two. That was fairly quick. But then again, the first level is always pretty easy. Um, it's kind of like a pattern they got going there. As you can see, there's ah, those kind of like ladybug guys that ah, that I never covered throughout this entire playthrough. They're actually in the first world if you go the other way uh, than when I, I mean, in the first level of the first world if you go a different way. And look at this face, like oh yeah, cool lady. Seriously, I I can't stop thinking like because of the shape of the pot, I can't stop thinking of Kool Aid Man. <sighs> Go figure. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you do not throw a potion inside one of the jars. It puffs. And that's not good. <sighs> anyway. Getting back to the thing about the gold sta statues. Uh, the gold statues, which are hidden in several locations, including subspace, grant the player an extra life and f refills the life meter. After clearing level, the player could press select to see some statistics such as statues, coins, cherries, and mushrooms collected, as well as display which bosses were defeated. Neato! Also, in, um, in the Japanese version, I don't know if it's mentioned here, uh, the boss of the fifth world, which is, well, actually, it's this one. Um, the boss of the fifth world in the, in the Japanese, ver I'm sorry, not in the Japanese version, but in Yumi Kojo Doki Doki Panic, not the, you know, Super Mario USA, but the original, the Doki Doki Panic version. There is actually an albino mouser, which in layman's terms means a white mouser, which was extremely hard, apparently. I saw a video of it. Basically, this white mouser, I believe it took about six or seven hits to kill. It threw bombs insanely fast, and there were also spikes on the ground for you to get hit by. And yeah, that made it extremely hard. So they replaced it with a different boss. Uh, but we'll get to that uh, later in this playthrough. I mean, later in this video. Sorry. Getting your hopes up. Okay. Uh, that was a bit of bad editing. But yeah, as you can see, I kind of started to get it together a little bit. Whoa. Yeah. I think the, uh, the point of this part is fairly obvious. Dodge spikes! <laughs> Eat that, you stupid fish. Anyway. <laughs> So now we move on to a red birdo. Ugh. Whoa! But yeah, the red birdos don't sicken me as much as the gray ones. Ah, crap. Stupid fish. 
That's that wasn't annoying at all. Seriously, it took me a, a few tries uh, to beat this boss. And check this out. I was getting so sick of this fish. I said, "Take this fish in the face. Eat it." <laughs> uh, shouldn't there be an internet meme about like fish or something? How I mine for fish, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever I say. We. Okay. Totally pointless heart grabbing. I always seem to do that after I kill Birdo. Do 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 do. Yeah. Uh, I think that's been <laughs> fairly standard throughout this playthrough. So in the last level of this world, we're gonna pass the or pass the control over to Mario. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just how I roll. You know, I always forget words. Uh, and if you pick Luigi for this level, you can actually hop up there, grab a potion, and jump down that boss to the... Oh my god, the warp to, I believe it's World 7. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I really don't like this part. Albatross is harassing me with bomb bombs Ah, oh, that nailed him all the way down. That really was, you know, important, but hey, what the heck. Might as well just kill one and say, at, uh, hey, I killed one. It's, oh my god! Ugh. Man, that, that really freaks me out every time that happens. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm paying attention, too. Ah. Oh, well. Well, what do you have to do to get there, actually? Ah, damn, do bomb bombs Is actually grab one of the moving bomb bombs on the ground on the left there. And, uh, yeah, uh, pick it up and throw it at the, uh, at the brick wall, which will make it, well, break away. Hm, of course. That makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway, well, it's a lot more dangerous than picking up one of those simple red bombs because, well, not only do the bob bombs blow up faster uh, after they start flashing, but, whoa, crap, time to go. Oh, crap, ow, I don't like him. Um, but also, well, they move around and stuff. Yes. And they're bigger, I don't know. Ah, crap. Okay, so what you want to do in this part is uh, grab one of those blocky mushroom things and uh, pop it over that boss so Shy Guys will stop infinitely spawning from them. And that's never a good thing. Ah. I mean, you know, nowadays, like, Shy Guys, oh, you know, oh, they're so cute and uh, Shy Guys, oh, they're so non-threatening and what have you. But in this game, they were really harassing Al. Me. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, there we go. Okay, magic of video editing. Oh, what's this? Somehow I have four units of health? How did that happen? Well, I magically figured out how to get not only that first mushroom that I uh, noticed, but uh, I think a mushroom... You know what? I really can't remember if it was before or after that one. But hey, what the heck? I still got four units of health, and that's going to help me a lot because, well, there's a big boss at the end of this level. Eh, oh well. What the heck? Oh, okay, I don't like this guy. Ah, he's coming towards me. Ah, that's what she said. Anyway, oh, why did I do that? Now I just respawned him. Ugh. Ah, get away from me. I thought, oh, crap. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> God. Ugh. Trying this again. Yes, he really harasses the crap out of you, but what you have to do is just, like, he won't go through those shortcuts that, um that shift between screens or well I mean it's I, I like to think of it as like a Pac-Man shortcut where like you go through one part of the screen and you pop out the other side yeah they don't go through the Pac-Man shortcuts kinda like the ghosts in Pac-Man so yeah you don't have to worry about that you just have to worry about him whoa not hitting you with fireballs <laughs> fireballs <laughs> anyway yeah, that's the sort of uh, immaturity and perversion that you can expect from playing with my Wii's playthroughs. Just thought anybody who hasn't sh seen my playthrough so far uh, should know. Yes, and uh, that time stop was ah totally pointless. But yes, you have to jump up and, uh, well, dethrone Pidget from his magic carpet. And uh, I got a little bit confused here. I thought I had to jump here, but hey, look, there's the platform right there. So, <laughs> trying this again... And gonna wait for it to poof. There it goes. All right, good to go. Screw you, other Pidgey. You can go burn and uh, yeah, burn. Okay, yeah. So I totally super jumped my way up to this cloud, which I could have regular jumped onto. But hey, ah, I'm so close to the end here. I don't want to make a single mistake. Gosh darn pink shy guys. Your pink and frilly natures have caused you not to be men and jump off of the platforms like you're supposed to, like men do. Anyway, I totally nailed that Bezo in the, in the air. That was fun. Ah, stupid fire. <laughs> I hate fire. Fireballs. <laughs> what 
Uh, what's wrong with me today? Uh, it's pretty late. My brain is uh, uh, fairly close to shutting down, so um, yeah. All I can uh, really muster up is some good old perversion. Peach is hot. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this guy's name is Claw Grip, and he replaces the aforementioned white mouser or albino mouser that I mentioned before. That's why it's aforementioned. That's the big word for this play part of the playthrough. Aforementioned. Go look it up. Anyway, uh, that aside, you have to pick up the boulders that he throws at you. Uh, which I, I want to call them the bad boulders because, well, they hurt you. Uh, they cause a lot of pain. And you have to hit them five times. Ah. Five times. Five times. Yeah, there we go. Beat it, you jerk. <laughs> what does he think he's doing still standing there? I don't even know. Wait, he wasn't standing there. Brain shutting down. Anyway, uh, that's it for this part of the playthrough. Join me in part six. Uh, hopefully where I'll be getting some sleep before I actually do it.